In this video, let's talk about a stock DocuSign, ticker symbol D-O-C-U. In this video, I want to talk about an amazing setup on DocuSign for options and shares, and especially long-term leaps. We have a very nice support, and the risk to reward is looking amazing for this stock. I will, I will also be talking about the economic catalyst and other stocks to watch for this week. So if you guys want to skip through and watch the Doc you part of the video i have this video timestamp and you guys can skip through subscribe with notifications on make sure to go to sundaystocktalk.com and subscribe uh, with your email and let's get started so before we talk about the stocks we have to talk about the inflation numbers that are coming out this week we have to be really careful of these because the overall market is looking bullish technical analysis wise psychologically we are looking good but our only concern are the inflation numbers that are coming out on tuesday and wednesday and these are coming bef before market open so we are either going to gap up or gap down so tuesday and Wednesday, we are going to be either gap up or gap down. And these are especially, especially important if you're holding any weekly contracts for options. So just be aware of that. But let's get started with the SPY first. So let's take a look at the SPY first. Again, set in stone, we are looking bullish. We have the holidays coming up. So the sentiment is looking bullish. Our only concern are the inflation numbers. So we're taking a look at the daily time frame where we broke out and now we are in a bull trend. Okay, we closed above the level of resistance. And as we talked about on our last uh, video, the weekly watch list video, we talked about the Heikenashi and how we have these trends for the market. Okay, we have leg up and leg down. And now we are in a leg up phase where we are breaking the downtrend for the SPY. So we're taking a look at the daily time frame. We also broke out of a consolidation phase. So we were trading sideways for a couple of days and now we have broke out so we definitely have more room to the upside price target at 443 and then 451 and eventually all-time highs pretty much our goal is to hit all-time highs with the holidays coming up so with thanksgiving and with christmas we should be able to hit whole time highs uh before 2024 and that is the plan so spy is looking bullish and we are definitely supposed to get some momentum this week because we traded sideways last week and whenever we trade sideways and then we break out and we close below or above that level we have a massive um pressure to whichever side we break out to so we did break uh, out to the upside so we are looking very bullish for the spy now tech stocks are looking even more bullish okay qqq the tech etf is looking extremely extremely bullish just take a look at this weekly time frame with a massive massive cup and handle the chart is looking incredible we have this massive cup and handle ready to pop our price target is all-time highs stocks like apple stocks like tesla we talked about paypal we're going to be talking about docu pretty much all of the tech stocks are looking extremely bullish for the coming holidays so qqq is looking amazing price target all-time highs at 390 dollars we are breaking the trend on the weekly and the daily time frame and pretty much we just have more room to the upside uh our first price target is 380 and then pretty much all-time highs so that is what we are taking a look at for QQQ. The first stock that I am watching this week, we have a new pick, is on DocuSign. Okay, DocuSign is looking incredible. Okay, let's start off with the monthly time frame. On the monthly time frame, we have this massive setup that looks just like Roblox. So our previous play, we had a very nice play on Roblox. So let's talk a little bit about Roblox first before I talk about Docu. So Roblox peaked 
then we had a downtrend and we pretty much bottomed out and now we are in a accumulation phase for roblox so what we did with roblox is we bought in at the level of support so you see that we have two zones we have a bottom and we have a top we have the support and then we have the resistance we want to be buying in at the support and selling it at the resistance so we got in roblox you guys can check on twitter we made a video on uh youtube we had a very nice pop we were up over 50 percent still holding uh 251 dollars but this is a very similar play to just like docu but docu sign is even bigger on the monthly time frame we're taking a look at the monthly time frame and it is looking amazing just like roblox we have two zones that we are watching we have to support the area that we keep bouncing off from which is at 40 dollars and then we have our resistance which is where we want to be selling and getting out and taking profits which is at 60 or 70 dollars and our stop loss is going to be the close below on the monthly time frame so if we close below on the monthly time frame below forty dollars so we are risking essentially we are risking right now we are risking around 15 percent to make uh 60 percent on shares okay almost 60 percent on shares and then you can obviously also do um options on docu uh on the discord we talked um about and I really like the strategy that someone mentioned, which is essentially buying kind of like a leap call option. So buying like a year out, two years uh, out uh, calls on stocks like these. Uh, he was doing it on it, uh, Tesla. So make sure to join the Discord if you guys want to chat, talk with me, and talk with other uh, traders and share your trading ideas on the trading ideas uh, channel so this is what we're taking a look at for docu let's take a look at the weekly time frame i want to buy in shares right at market open and then i want to have my price target at 68 dollars so docu is looking amazing on the weekly and the monthly time frame so apple again we had apple call options we're up over 100 percent on Apple 150 percent on Apple this was on our Sunday stock talk newsletter you know we made previous videos on here we are doing amazing on Apple but we are still holding our price target is all-time highs pretty much 200 you know we have we broke off a massive level um, for Apple we're already up we took some profits but we are riding the wave to the upside for apple and i do have december ex expiration december uh 22 uh, exp expiration um for my calls next we have tesla so just coming back from last week I want to buy in some Tesla options, uh, a month out or two months out call options for Tesla with a stop loss below our support. So stop loss having below two hundred and thirteen dollars. And that that is what I want my stop loss to be. So I want to buy in uh, two month out call options for Tesla stock and then price target being the gap we have to the upside as well as the resistance which we are potentially setting up for a descending triangle breakout for tesla next we have paypal just a quick update that's all we're just in shares holding shares as i talked about tax stocks uh qqq is looking very bullish you know pretty much if the whole market is green and the whole market is going up paypal should follow it so that is what we're just taking a look at for paypal just paypal shares and then obviously we have to do a quick update on macy's so we're down quite a bit on macy's down over 10 percent on macy's stock we definitely did buy in a little bit earlier but we came back down and we are at this level of support for macy's stock which is at ten dollars and 97 cents around eleven dollars i want to average down on shares leave my stop loss below this level but we do have earnings coming up which is to be something to be careful of um so we have current earnings coming up and you know i'm going to leave my stop loss below uh ten dollars and 42 cents just in case if we start dropping on earnings i'm going to have a stop loss before ten dollars and 42 cents because we are trading shares so we can leave our stop loss over there 
for Macy's. But pretty much just a quick update on Macy's. Overall, Macy's stock is looking great. Okay, we have the holidays coming up. It's going to be a quick trade, sell before 2024. We just had a, a little bit of a drop um, for Macy's and we have earnings coming up. But the bigger picture is looking very, very nice and very, very good. And I just love the risk to reward with Macy's stock. Overall, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Subscribe with notifications on. Make sure to leave a like. I do have a course coming up, uh, the Market Trader Academy, which should be dropped around Black Friday. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to join the Discord and see you guys later.